it's my great honor to give this talk to briefly introduce some of our recent uh, research results. My presentation title is Applications of Bioresponsive Psychotextual Materials in the Management of Inflammatory Diseases. So as we all know, inflammation is an essential immune response to harmful stimuli such as infection, damaged cells, and tissue injury. Uncontrolled inflammation is closely related to the pathogenesis of many diseases such as cardiovascular disease and inflammatory bone disease. So early diagnosis and the imaging of inflammation is very important for the management of many inflammatory diseases. Histologic staining and flow cytometry analysis are frequently used invasive methods in many studies. On the other hand, PET, MRI, and CT have employed as non-invasive approaches in clinical diagnosis of some of inflammation-related conditions. To overcome some limitations of this non-invasive and invasive methods, our first aim is to develop non-invasive specific FANSA and low-cost strategies for animal study, in particularly for mechanistic studies and high support or high content drug screening. On the other hand, different types of therapeutic agents such as non-steroid non anti-inflammatory drugs, corticosteroids, antioxidants, and uh, biologic therapeutics have been generally used for the treatment of inflammatory disease. However, the drugs exhibit some side effects such as gastrointestinal stimulation, ulceration, intolerance, lung response, and uh, in some cases, infection. Therefore, novel strategies are necessary to address these critical issues. Research in our lab has been mainly focusing on bioresponsive materials for imaging and therapy of inflammatory diseases. We started from the development of new bioresponsive materials, then constructed different imaging and therapeutic systems, and finally, realized diagnosis and uh, targeted therapy of inflammatory diseases. So three sections are covered in my presentation. As well documented, the inflammatory microenvironment microenvironment is char characterized with infiltration of inflammatory cells, such as neutrophils, macrophages. Also, high expression of inflammatory mediates occur in the inflammatory microenvironments, mainly including pro-inflammatory cytokines, such as MPO, TNF alpha, interleukin, and interferon gamma. In addition, high expression of reactive oxygen species like superoxide anion, hydroxy, radical hydrogen peroxide also high expert in the micro environment of inflammation. So according to these pathological changes, we first developed MPL responsive safe, safe luminescence nanoprobes based on sacrodextrin materials that were obtained by conjugating luminal a small molecular luminescent agent onto sacrodextrin. Of note, sacrodextrins are a type of cyclic oligosaccharide with good in wave safety. In addition to characterization of the obtained nanoparticles, such as size distribution, morphology observation, we demonstrated the desirable luminescence performance particularly long-time, long-lifetime luminescence. 
the nano probe displayed both hydrogen peroxide and NPL dependent luminescence. Also, we found that the luminescence behaviors of this nano probe depend on the levels of NPL chloride line and uh, hyper chloride. Based on cell culture studies, we demonstrated the nano probe can selectively illuminate activated neutrophils, such as this one, PM, PMA stimulated neutrophils, but not uh, macrophage, because macrophage did not, uh, does not express MPO. Then we Examine the safe luminescence imaging in different animal models of inflammation. First, they, first our nanoprobe showed excellent imaging capability in a mouse model of peritonitis after interpenetral injection. In this case, the luminescence intensity is well correlated with the number of neutrophils in peritoneal leverage. In a mass model of acute lung injury induced by lipopolysaccharide, intravenously injected lung probe can passively target, uh, can passively accumulate in the lung. Moreover, our lung probe showed excellent luminescence imaging performance which is more effective than free luminal. So uh, these images show luminescence, uh, weak luminescence for the luminal treated mouse. It should be noted that the development of acute lung injury can also be monitored by the lung probe because the relations intensity of our lala probe are well consistent with the numbers of neutrophils, MPL, and hydrogen peroxide. Furthermore, we found that this type of nanoparticles can be used for luminescence imaging of acute liver injury in any models, such as alcoholic liver injury. So this image shows luminescence in mouse that was stimulated with alcohol. As a summary of the first uh, section, so uh, one, impure responsive nanoparticles with excellent uh, luminescent properties and good safety can be successfully engineered from luminal conjugated cyclodextrin materials. The second, uh, thus obtained safe luminescent uh, nanoparticles can serve as effective nanoprobes for image, image of different uh, acute inflammatory diseases. Notably, this type of luminescent nanoprobes have multiple advantages, such as persistent luminescence, passive and active targeting capability and uh, excellent uh, by compatibility. Okay, this is uh, uh, my presentation of the first uh, section. So in the second section, I will talk about, uh, uh, talk about uh, inflammation responsive drug delivery systems for the treatment of inflammatory diseases. As aforementioned, uh, no pH uh, due to acid acidification, high, high oxi oxidative stress, and high expression of inflammatory cytokines are typical characters in the inflammatory microenvironment. Accordingly, these pathological changes can serve as biochemical signals to design inflammation responsive materials and the drug delivery systems. We developed the uh, three types of inflammation responsive materials by conjugating different responsive moieties onto cyclodextrin, onto cyclodextrins or the derivatives. 
which include peer to response, ROS response, and MPO response materials. This response materials can be processed into different nanoparticles that can effectively load different therapeutic agents, uh, including small molecular drugs, peptide proteins, and uh, nucleic, nucleic acids. Specifically, pH responsive materials and the pH responsive the biocompatible psychodextrin materials was synthesized by acetylation of psychodextrin or the polymers. In addition, ROS responsive materials can be easily obtained by conjugating PBAP, that's phenobrolic acid uh, pinnacle yeast, by conjugating PBAP onto psychodextrins. It should be noted that the response ROS sensitivity of resulting materials can be well controlled by the number of PBAP units and the linker groups. Different link groups will result will result in materials with different uh, ROS sensitivity. Then we examined the therapeutic effects of different uh, bioresponsive drug delivery systems in typical inflammatory disease. We first uh, studied uh, treatment of IBD, that's inflammatory bone disease. RBD is a representative chronic inflammatory disease that, that includes both ulcerative colitis and uh, Crohn disease. To overcome disadvantages of many currently used anti-inflammatory drugs for IBD, we designed superoxide distributase SOD and uh, catalyst mimetic uh, nanoparticles for targeted therapy of uh, ulcerative colitis. In this case, a radical scavenger temple, it's a small molecule radical scavenger. This small molecule radical scavenger was loaded into ROS responsive nanoparticles based on PB, PBAP conjugated beta psychodextrin. So after our delivery, the obtained another therapy, uh, therapy can passively accumulate at the inflamed sites of clartis due to damaged epicenic barrier under diseased conditions. Because of high ROS expression in the inflamed colon, the loaded temple molecules can be responsibly released after local accumulation, thereby achieving therapeutic effects. Subsequently, the similar ROS responsive nanoparticles were used to deliver a pro-resolving peptide AC226. This peptide is derived from N-terminal alexin A1. In order to achieve effective therapy of IBD. In this study, a non responsive nanoparticle therapy, APN, that was based on PLGA, was used as a control. So, PLGA is a well recognized non responsive biodegradable polymer approved by FDA for different biomedical applications. The ROS responsive release profiles of ROS responsive AC226 nanotherapy ARN was, was demonstrated by in, vi in vitro tests. So the right panel show ROS responsive release profiles of ARN. By incubating ARN with different uh, fluids simulating gastrointestinal conditions, they also demonstrated increased uh, stability of AC226 
on the gastrointestinal conditions uh, after loading to ROS responsible nanoparticles. So this peak, uh, this peak show AC226 in ALN, but free uh, the peak disappeared in the case of free AC226, uh, which means degradation of this peptide by enzymes. So after oral delivery, ALN can accumulate can accumulate in the inflamed colons. So this, peak, uh, this image shows accumulation of ALN in inflamed colons. Also, considerable distribution of ALN can be found in both uh, neutrophils and uh, macrophages. Then efficacies of ALN were first uh, examined in in mouse with DSS induced acute clitis by monitoring body weight, disease active, activity index, and uh, colon length. We demonstrate the therapeutic advantages, advantages of ARN of APN. This was further confirmed by histologic analysis. So the upper panel shows H, H and E staining, the lower panel shows the CK18 staining, uh, which uh, the CK18 staining show epithelial cells. Further, mechanistic studies show that ALN effectively attenuated DSS-induced acute clitis by inhibiting local inflammatory response as indicated by the notable increased pro-inflammatory cytokine levels. And also ALN treatment significantly inhibited the oxidative, oxid, oxidative stress. Uh, so uh, this was demonstrated, this, uh, demonstrated by quantifying pro-inflammatory cytokines and the oxidative stress-related uh, stress videos. In addition, we found that ALN can effectively, effectively regulate gut microbiota and the microbiota will derive the short chain fatty acids in clitis models. So based on the above results, we can conclude that the resolving peptide AC220 containing ROS response analysis can effectively target inflamed colons and treat RBD in mouse with acute or chronic colitis, mainly by regulating the inflammatory microenvironment and the microbial community. Secondly, we examined the therapeutic advantages of inflammation responsive drug delivery systems in the treatment of cardiovascular diseases. That takes the lives of 17.9 million people, many people every year. As a chronic inflammatory disease, Atherosclerosis is a leading cause of cardiovascular diseases, such as heart attacks, stroke, and the peripheral vascular disease. Using previously developed responsive nanoparticles, we prepared pH and pH or ROS responsive nanotherapies containing an anti atherosclerosis anti atherosclerotic drug rapamycin. So here's a long responsive rapamycin non-therapy control. Atherosclerosis targeting capability of the used nanoparticles was first demonstrated in APOE deficient mouse. So this ex vivo image shows the, ta shows the targeting capability by the pH responsive nanoparticles. 
we we also found that the response and uh, response uh, rhombus and other therapies effect effectively reduce the atherosclerotic plaques in apoe -E deficient mouse, showing significantly high efficacy than that of long responsive dollar therapy control that was based on PLGA nanoparticles. Okay, so based on the bound promising funding, we use we used the pH responsive nanoparticles for such specific uh, delivery of uh, antisense oligo oligonucleotide for targeted treatment of atherosclerosis. The used antisense oligonucleotide is against macro, macro, macro RNA 33. Previous studies have demonstrated that, that macro RNA 33 deficiency, deficiency or silencing can reduce atherosclerosis progression in mouse. While therapeutic targeting macro RNA 33 may serve as a new strategy to treat atherosclerotic diseases. Pet responsive anti macro RNA 33 nanotherapies were formulated using acetylated sacrodextrin materials in combination with, uh, with a branched low molecular polyethylene imine. So the used method is nanoprecipitation safer assembly method. In addition, uh, active targeting anti macro RNA 33 nanocp was prepared by surface de decoration with a peptide ligand CRGD FK. So, this peptide can bond with its receptor integral alpha beta 3 that was high expressed on end, cell, end cell cells as well as activated macrophages and uh, vascular smooth muscle cells. So as indicated by ex vivo imaging, after intravenous administration in APOE deficient mouse, both nanotherapies showed a considerable accumulation in atherosclerotic plaques with significantly high distribution in the case of active targeting Therapy. Moreover, distribution in both endothelial under cells and uh, macrophages, macrophages were observed by immunofluorescence analysis. So consistent with in vivo technical results, while both nanotherapies showed a significant uh, Effects, significant therapeutic effects on reducing plaque air, as indicated by oil red oil standard alters. The activity, the active targeting nanotherapy uh, that are AAM nanoparticles. This, this nanotherapy showed the most significant effect at a, at a dose of two milligram per uh, kilogram body weight. So according to these results, we may conclude the pH response anti may 33 nanotherapies derived for acetylated sacrodextrin materials can effectively delay the development of atherosclerosis. While treatment with anti may 33 nanotherapies can enhance the stability of of atherosclerotic plaques. Plaques. In addition, the underlying mechanisms involve promotion of cluster efflux and the inhibition of foam cell formation by regulating MIA 33 target gene or proteins. In addition, modulation of the macrophage phenotype and the regulation of T-reg cell differentiation also contribute to the observed in favor of efficacy of the anti mere 33 nanotherapies. 
Okay, in another mode of inflammatory vascular disease, uh, that's abdominal aortic aneurysms, which is uh, characterized with infiltration of inflammatory, cell, inflammatory cells, as well as elevated uh, matrix uh, methane proteinase, and uh, as well as overproduced uh, rows and uh, apoptosis of apoptosis of vascular small muscle cells. We also demonstrated the therapeutic benefits of ROS responsive uh, nanotherapies. So the, ther the therapeutic effects can be also enhanced by decreasing with CRGDFK and peptide. Uh, and uh, furthermore, uh, by a uh, macrophage based uh, biomimetic strategy, uh, the active targeting nanotherapies efficacy can be further enhanced. Okay, so as a summary of the, sec uh, the section two, we can conclude Different therapeutic agents can be effectively loaded into nanoparticles based on inflammation responsive subdextral materials. Uh, in, addition, in addition, the developed bioresponsive nanotherapies are promising for treatment of inflammatory diseases. So for the related detailed studies in this field, I would like to recommend the audience to uh, and to look at this review article by our group. In the third section, I will briefly introduce some of our studies on bioactive nanoparticles for treatment of inflammatory diseases. So actually, the related research was inspired by one of our previous studies in which we found that uh, PBAP, that's a phenylbrolic acid pinnacle ester conjugated subdextral material displayed the anti-inflammatory effect, effects mainly by eliminating hydrogen peroxide, inhibiting neutrophil infiltration and macrophage recruitment, as well as reducing expressions of pro-inflammatory cytokines and oxidative mediates. So based on this previous funding, we hypothesize that materials with broader spectral ROS scavenging capacity may have more effective anti-oxidative stress and anti-inflammatory activities. A broad spectral ROS eliminating material, TPCD, was synthesized by simultaneously conjugating both PBAP, PBAP and the temple onto cyclodextrin, cyclodextrin uh, uh, scaffold. This, this can be uh, performed by a simple uh, reaction strategy, uh, strategy. So that's obtained materials, TPCD and uh, its nanoparticles can effectively eliminate, eliminate, eliminate free radical superoxide anion hydrogen peroxide and uh, hyperchloride. In which antioxidative stress of TPCD nanoparticles, that's TPCD NP, was first demonstrated in macrophages, then in vivo anti-inflammatory activity of TPCD nanoparticles were substantiated in acute inflammation model of polyedema and uh, peritonitis, both in mouse. We found that TPCD nanoparticles can also effectively inhibit lipid LPS induced the acute lung injury in moths. So as indicated there by reduced the neutrophil, neutrophils, MPL, and uh, improved the 
pulmonary structure. Further, TPCD nanoparticles significantly inhibited inflammation and oxidative stress in the liver of APAP-induced mouse. Then, they examined the therapeutic effects of TPCD nanoparticles for the treatment of uh, cro a chronic inflammatory disease, atherosclerosis. So at the similar level, treatment with TPCD nanoparticles notably inhibited the cellular uptake of oxy oxidized LDL the film cell formation in both macrophages and uh, vascular small muscle cells. Subsequently, in vivo efficacy of TBC land particles was demonstrated by in vivo studies in APOE deficient mouse as implicated by significantly reduced the plaque air. Of those, TBC nanoparticles showed more effect effective results than a pre previously developed uh, small molecular antioxidant uh, proboco. In addition, we discovered another type of intrinsically bioactive cyclodextrin materials that can be easily obtained by conjugating luminal unit onto cyclodextrins. So large particles based on luminal conjugated cyclodextrin materials Exhibited, exhibited notable, notable therapeutic effects in different animal models of acute and chronic inflammation models, including peritonitis, acute lung injury, and atherosclerosis. Our preliminary studies also suggested that the underlying mechanisms mainly involves the inhibition of infiltration of inflammatory cells. So for the studies of the third section, we can conclude by active materials can be functionally developed by functionalization of cyclodextrins. In addition, cyclodextrin materials derived intrinsically by active nanoparticles are promising nanotherapies for treatment of different uh, acute and chronic inflammatory diseases. So, okay, that's all my presentation contents. So I would like to acknowledge my collaborators in our university and uh, other, other universities. And also I would thank my students for the great contribution on uh, to our research. Finally, our research was supported by National Natural Science Foundation of China and the foundations by Ministry of Education of the People's Republic of China and also our university's foundation. Thank you for your attention. So I would like to take any of your questions and also Welcome to Chongqing, that's a hot pot city in southwest China. Thank you.